Hello, this is Sharon with Flat World Knowledge, and I'd like to welcome you today to our podcast with Kim Richmond, author of The Power of Selling with Flat World Knowledge. Hi, Kim. Hi, Sharon. So I'm going to jump in and get started with a couple questions so our listeners can understand a little bit more about your book, The Power of Selling. Um, Can you tell them, why did you decide to write a book for the selling course? Well, you know, it's interesting. I think that selling is one of the most fascinating and challenging disciplines because we all use selling skills every day, no matter what we do. The fact is, selling is what helps us all get what we want in life. We sell our ideas, our point of view, and ourselves all the time. And I'm inspired by the fact that selling is not only an interesting and lucrative profession, but that the skills are so universal. So I wanted to write a book that helps students understand the true power they have when they use selling skills correctly and consistently in business, in their personal lives, and especially when they conduct their job search. After all, they are the most important product they'll ever sell. No, that's absolutely true. That's absolutely true. Now, you and I, we've talked a little bit about your book, and um, you have some a fantastic handles that kind of set this book apart from many, if not all, of the books in the selling market today. Can you tell our listeners a little bit about those? Oh, absolutely. Um, well, one of the things that I really focused on is um, the content. Um, the content is based on the core selling tenants, so instructors will find the familiar principles of selling. Um, but in addition to that, I think that the impact of sales 2.0 is really critical to, to communicate to students. Um, so things, very interactive tools such as Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, blogs, wikis are addressed throughout the book um, and how to use them in the selling situation. Um, the writing style is very conversational with very current examples, videos, podcasts, websites, and articles. Um, And because every student doesn't necessarily want to pursue a selling career with an established company, there's also a chapter called Entrepreneurial Selling, The Power of Running Your Own Business. So the content really addresses selling from virtually every perspective. In addition, there's a, there's a feature, it's actually more than a feature. The last section of every chapter is called Selling You. Um, and this section applies the concepts covered in the chapter to the student's job search. So for example, the Selling You section in chapter one addresses how to think about selling yourself as a brand. The Selling You section in chapter two covers the fundamentals of how to write a compelling cover letter and resume. And then other selling you topics throughout the book include things like how to create your own personal elevator pitch, how to use networking and informational interviews to get the word out about your brand, um, how to prepare and dress for an interview, and even how to negotiate and accept the right job offer. So what makes the power of selling different is the fact that selling you is actually integrated into every chapter. And it really makes the book the ultimate guide to selling yourself. Now, that's fantastic. I love the elevator pitch uh, conversation. It, gets to, it really gets to all the different ways that you can talk about yourself and, and, and promote yourself in the right way so you can get a job. I mean, it's, it's, it's fantastic. Now, I also understand that um, you, you have some interactive tools and interactive supplements that, that go along with the book. Could you tell our listeners about those? Um, Yeah, absolutely. I really believe that um, that learning occurs when when people are engaged. And so uh, there's really a lot of interactivity in the book and some really specific tools that even go beyond the classroom. Um, One of the best ways to learn about sales is actually to go out on ride-alongs. So every chapter starts with a short feature called a video ride-along. Um, And these short videos include seven different selling professionals, one that starts each chapter, um, and they talk about how they apply one of the key concepts covered in the chapter and how they use it in their job every day. Um, These clips are really designed to be like virtual ride-alongs so that the students can actually feel as though they're getting insights firsthand from selling professionals. 
Um, in addition, one of the other things that I've added to the book um, that actually is, goes outside the classroom is I created a group in, on LinkedIn called The Power of Selling. And the group includes these seven executives as well as many other selling professionals across the country. And this is a great tool for both faculty and students alike to network, to participate in discussions, to ask questions, and really to connect with real-world selling professionals. So those are some, some great interactive tools that go beyond the classroom. And in addition, um, I, I feel really passionately about supplements. So in addition to the traditional supplements of the you know, instructor manual, PowerPoints, and test bank, there's also a YouTube channel that includes over 40 video clips that are not included in the textbook. So the short videos actually feature the, the uh, selling professionals that are in the video ride-along. So these videos are excellent resources for use in the classroom for exercises and assignments. And then in addition, there are also video learning segments. And these are PowerPoint slides that are embedded with videos that are designed to supplement the course PowerPoints. And they focus on like just one concept. So they're just short, focused, uh, of PowerPoints with a video. So like for example, one video learning segment um, deals with an ethical dilemma. Um, one deals with pre-call preparation. One deals with how to use email effectively. Um, and each segment includes just a few slides, a video or two, discussion questions, and exercises. So again, it's another great tool for instructors to use to supplement the class. You know what, so it sounds like you have, is it three different types of videos? Um, there's, there's actually um, three different types of videos, right. exactly. So it's the ride-along videos, which that's just amazing. I mean, that's, that is how you learn to sell. I mean, that's how I learn to sell. That's how everybody who jumps in and learns how to sell. So that's fantastic. Then they also have the YouTube channel that you've created that kind of go above and beyond the book, right? That's correct, and so those are those are additional um, uh, videos with those same selling professionals, but um, they, they're really access for the the instructor to be able to use as they would like throughout the, the course. That's great, and then the third kind is just these these little segments that teach you about different aspects of the selling process, like you said, pre-call preparation, for example. Exactly. That's fantastic. That's a lot of resources for the for the for the student and, and for the instructor to really make the class interactive and and you know real world although that that's used all the time but that really does give them a firm grasp of what they're going to experience as they're selling so that's great um well we you know kim that that we we are so pleased to have you here as part as a flat worlder um as a flat world author and um i know you you could have published your book with with any of the publishers that are out there they would have been delighted to have this textbook um but we have you and we're happy. And so I'd like you to tell our listeners, what made you decide to kind of join into the Flat World team? Um, wow, I think, you know, I, I think it's fair to say that um, all of us, especially students, operate, think, and learn in a multi-platform environment. I mean, I think that that's what the world is like today. And I, um, to be honest, I couldn't even imagine um, either writing or teaching in, in any other um, kind of environment. Um, I chose Flat World because as an author, it really allows me to take advantage of video, podcasts, websites, articles, all kinds of uh, really current supplements that, that enhance the material. Um, as an instructor, it gives my students exposure to real world tools and examples that help them, you know, it's, it's not just about learning, but it's actually experiencing what sales is like because sales is a very experiential discipline. And the only way that they can learn is by seeing it happen and participate in it. And I think the flat world really provides the platform to make that happen. Well, that's fantastic. And well, Kim, thank you for your time with us today on, on this brief podcast. And we'll thank our listeners for spending their time with us to learn a little bit about Kim Richmond's The Power of Selling, published with Flat World Knowledge. And um, of course, thank you for your devotion to the book and your devotion to your discipline, Kim. And um, we've enjoyed talking with you today. So thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you, Sharon. Bye now.